Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Corey, a 15-year-old living with Asperger's syndrome, called because he was in the woods behind his home and he wanted a reason to live. He had a long history of suicide attempts, psychiatric illness and hospital stays. On the call, he was sitting in the woods with a knife to his throat. He said he had been stressed from starting school and that he did not want help, that he was going to kill himself. And the counselor spent time listening to Corey and remaining present. He was able to locate Corey even though Corey demanded that he not call the police. The counselor asked Corey to stay on the phone with him until he got home and to let him talk to Corey's mom. Corey agreed, and the counselor recommended to Corey's mother that she take him to the hospital for a psych evaluation and got her cell phone number to call back the next day. She was pleased when they did, in fact, call to check in on Corey the next day. Though Corey had suicidal thoughts and was very depressed, early in the call, he began to express his intense interest in computer programming. The more the Trevor counselor encouraged him and provided verbal affirmation of his talent, the more Corey opened up. They talked about the applications he programmed in the past, the projects he was currently working on, and finally, projects he was planning for the future. Together, they discussed creating opportunities for Corey to pursue his talents and talk to other gay youth through Trevor Space. By the end of the call, Corey was feeling good. He expressed to the counselor, you probably saved my life with this call. You probably don't know this, but you just gave me a lot of reasons to live. You know, they sent me a script in the email today, and they did not send his speech. I wish they had, or else I'd have prepared. So I'm sorry if I stumble through my bit, but I wasn't, um, I wasn't prepared to hear that. Um, <laughs> Gwen, a 15-year-old from Massachusetts, called the Trevor Lifeline on August 10th, needing someone to listen. She explained to the counselor that both of her birth parents were drug addicts and that she was taken away from them when she was just 10 years old. Her current family, very conservative Christians, eventually adopted her. When her adopted father screened her recently visited websites online, he found that she had visited the Trevor space and he confronted her. Gwen then admitted to her parents that she was a lesbian. They didn't respond that well. And at that time, she called the lifeline. They were threatening to send her at that moment to reparative therapy to fix her. Gwen knew it wasn't that simple. She'd been bullied in school, but the administration ignored it and did nothing to help her, telling her that it happens to everyone. The counselor stayed present with Gwen on the phone, empathizing with her and reminding her how special she was, how smart she was to have called in the first place. When Gwen said that she felt like a freak, the counselor told her that her feelings were completely normal <laughs> and that there was nothing wrong with her at all. After being given the chance to spare her experience, to share her experiences, Gwen offered the counselor her heartfelt thanks. <laughs> Thank you, I so needed that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jennifer, I see you. You planned that. <laughs> the counselor, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, the counselor offered her her heartfelt, Gwen offered her, the counselor, her heartfelt thanks and said, I wish there were more people like you in the world. I'm going to write your name down on a piece of paper, post it to my wall. And every, th every time I think it's too much, I'll look at it, and I'll remember how you helped me tonight. 
LGBT youth who come from highly rejected families are more than eight times likely to kill themselves than their, LG than their LGBT peers who report low or no uh, family rejection at all. So thank you. Thank you for helping amazing young people remember just how much they are accepted and how much they're loved this holiday season. Thank you. Thank you, Amber and Zach. God would have sex with the both of you.